Hi there, Joseph Kursky here with you to talk about two powerful and easy to use techniques inside Spatial Analyst inside ArcGIS Desktop. One of them is called Bookmarks. If you go over here to the Bookmarks menu, you can create bookmarks. So let's say I wanted to create a bookmark at this point. This is my full digital raster graphic extent. So there's my bookmark. And I also have a couple of others in here. So I can go to the east side of my image. I can go to the north side of my image. I can go to the region. So I'm zoomed out a little bit. So that's bookmarks. It's an easy way to zoom and pan and save those scales and those extents to areas that uh, are inside this bookmarks list that you can go back to them easily later on. The second thing I wanted to point out is that what we have here is a digital raster graphic and a digital orthophoto quad from the US Geological Survey. But notice that I also have, in terms of the digital raster graphics, something called the USA Topo layer. And in terms of the digital orthophoto quad, I have not just the digital orthophoto quad, but I also have access to satellite imagery of various kinds that go outside the extent of my original study area. So this gets into the sort of old way of doing things in a GIS environment and the new way of doing things. Right? The old way of doing things was I actually got a little piece of digital ortho photo quad as you can see there. I downloaded it to my computer from a USGS portal. Same thing with the digital raster graphics. So I, I got these images, I downloaded them, I projected them into a certain geographic space. Let's, get, let's take a look at what that geographic space is. It's NAD83 North American Datum 1983 UTM Zone 14N. Great. So that's what it is. And what I have wanted to point out here is that the new way of doing things is, hey, you know what? There's a whole lot of data up on the GIS cloud, notably in ArcGIS Online, that I can actually stream down to my computer here. And that's what I'm doing with this base map, this world imagery base map, and also this topo maps layer. Now notice one thing about this topo maps layer. It is actually, and I'm going to use bookmarks to do this now, it is actually quite amazing because it's not just the original topographic maps. It's an enhanced topographic map layer. And why I say enhanced is because it is, it's using the National Geographic enhanced topographic layer. Okay, so it's taking the original topographic map and it is enhancing it with some shaded relief, as you'll be able to see here. On the west side of this image, you will see the original USGS scanned topographic map, the digital raster graphic. On the right side, you see a little section of the streamed down from ArcGIS Online USA topo layer. Let's zoom out a little bit so you get a better idea of what I'm talking about. See that? The actual image on the east or right side of this data frame is, is a higher resolution. And it's also enhanced with this nice shading relief, shaded relief effect. So that is the digital raster graphic on the left side or west side. And on the right side is the enhanced USA topo layer. Now how did I get that in there into my map document? What I did was, in this case, I, I went to add data. And I didn't just go to my own computer. What I did was I said, add data from ArcGIS Online. And what it does is it's going to look on the ArcGIS Online cloud for the specific layers that I want. In this particular case, what I want is a USA topo layer. So inside the search box, I, I put USA topo and I hit return, it's going to look and find, ooh, USA Topo Maps. This map service provides detailed USGS topographic maps for the United States at multiple scales. So 1 to 24,000, as we're looking at here, 1 to 100,000, 1 to 250,000. Excellent. And I just said add to map. And the result is right here. Wonderful. Now, what I did with the digital ortho photo quad, as you can see on the left side here, I actually have it as a base map. I have the world imagery base map there. And how I added that was very similar to what we were looking at earlier. I said add base map. So in this case, I'm actually changing the base map, not just adding another layer. But the beauty of it is, is that you can change the base map. As you'll see, we've got about nine to pick from. 
And you can also add all these thematic layers that are residing on ArcGIS Online. So that's, I think, quite powerful. And it shows the difference between the old way of, of downloading data and having everything on your local computer. Now, that old method is still valid. We still use that from time to time for lots of different reasons. But now you're not just confined to that one method. You can actually stream certain data, especially layers like base maps and other things that you're going to use oftentimes. You don't have to download all that stuff anymore. So that's good news. The result, as you can see here, is that I not only have the area that was covered by my original DOQ, or my digital ortho photo quad, which is shown right here, black and white image from 1983, but I also have a new satellite image, usually in the last 12 months that is streamed down from ArcGIS Online. And of course, this works no matter where my study area is. This works all over the globe at different resolutions, but generally a high resolution that you can use in your projects. Thanks.